Okay, what we're looking at here is the effect of the rig tension on the jib and the shape of the jib. Where this is important is both reaching and in light airs or choppy airs upwind. Now at the moment you can see the jib looks relatively deep and full and that's because our side stay tension has let off a fair bit. Now, the function of the depth of the jib is not only a sailmaker's role, but it's also the sailor's role to set the rig to suit the round of the jib. So you can see here, if I pull out on the forestay, it's the equivalent of pulling some more tension on. So if we just go here to pull his rig tension on now, you can see what happens here is the jib's just flattened out. That's giving you a much finer entry, a bit harder to steer to, but a much more efficient shape for when there's enough breeze for the, for the jib to be setting. But if you're caught in a choppy air condition, you need that bit more power, you just drop that little bit of rig tension off, and again, the force stay just sags, and that gives you your deeper profile jib. Okay, so the sheeting of your jib and how much tension to ask your crew to pull it on. Now, for upwind sailing, most jibs should have a leech ribbon. You can see the red leech ribbon up there, which shows you how the sail's flowing. Now, you can see, if I pull it in real tight, the leech ribbon starts to fall down, or lift up and curl behind the jib, which means we're not getting any air between the mast and the jib. As you ease the sheet out slightly, you can see it starts to flow quite vigorously. Now that's the slot that people talk about and what you need to get the flow onto the leeward side of your mainsail. Now the happy medium is if you go too far, your slot's too open and the air which is being directed through that slot is actually going to end up uh, just being emptied out and have no effect on the lee side of the mainsail. So you basically want to pull it up till that leech tail is flowing steadily, but not hooking behind it. You'd be surprised how much tension that actually is in flat water medium airs. It basically uh, ends up the leech of the jib is a parallel line to the mast. Okay, so you can see there, with it sheeted on too tight, the leech tail is basically curling up in the air and hooking around the back of the jib. With only a small ease, it begins to flap a lot faster and flow backwards, showing that the breeze is actually flowing to the lee side of the mainsail.